Alright, so we're going to have a go at adding mixed numbers with fractions. Now this looks like it's going to be tricky, but it's actually very, very simple and straightforward. So success criteria for this is first of all you need to convert that mixed fraction, mixed number, sorry, into an improper fraction. Now I've got a video which shows you really, really easily how to do this. So if you want to watch it, um, and all you basically do is ask your ma for help, which is multiply and add the mixed number and that gives you the improper fraction. So first thing, and you'll notice this a lot with all of these mixed number ones, convert mixed fraction to improper fraction. Then find the common multiple for the two fractions now that you've got. Then convert the fractions, so whatever you do to the bottom, do to the top. And then finally add the top and keep the bottom the same. So the best way to show you this success criteria is to actually have a go at a couple. So first off we've got two and a third, so we've got a mixed number and a fraction, we're going to add them together. So the first thing I do is I convert this into an improper fraction. Okay, so I ask Ma for help, so multiply, you multiply the bottom two numbers which gives me 6, and then add the top number which is 7, so it is 7, and the bottom number stays the same, so it's 7 over 3, add 5, 6. Okay. So now we're set up to a question which is a lot, lot, lot easier looking than what was previously used in the question before. So now, find the common multiple between 3 and 6. So look at the bigger number, and 3 times tables are actually in 6 as well. So 1 times 6 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6. So our common multiple will be 6. So we're going to turn them both into 6. Now this one is already 6, so we'll just leave it as. Now what have we done to get from 3 to 6? We've obviously times by 2. So that means we'll have to times the top by 2. So it'll be 14 over 6. So this is our equivalent fraction, but it is in sixths. Now we've got the same denominator, so our addition is very, very, very simple. We just add the top two numbers, which is 19, and keep the bottom number the same. So it's 19 over 6. Let's try a couple more, give you one to have a go at as well. So we've got 1 and 4 sevenths at a half. So, first thing, convert the mixed number into an improper fraction. So, multiply, add, ask ma. So we multiply, 1 times 7 is 7, and then we add the 4 onto that. So 7 add 4 is 11, so we've got 11 over, and then the bottom number always stays the same. 11 over 7, add a half. So, we need the same denominator, we haven't quite got it yet, so we're going to look, 2 obviously doesn't fit into 7, it's not going to be the same multiple. So we look at 7, it's next multiple of 7 is 14, so 14 works, 2 obviously fits into 14, so our common multiple is 14. So again, we need to convert these into the equivalent fraction so that they're out of 14. So what we've done to 7, they get to 14 we've times it by 2. Well, so that means we need to times the top by 2, which would be 22 over 14. Then we've got the half. What have we done to 2 to get to 14? We've times it by 7. That means we need to times the top by 7. So that would give us that. So 7 over 14 is the same as a half. Now we've got our same denominators, which is great. So all we have to do now is add the top and keep the bottom the same. So we've got 22, add 7, gives me 29. The bottom number stays the same, it's 14. There we go. So, let's have a go yourself. So we've got 2 and a quarter out of fifth. So remember, convert it to an improper fraction, find the common multiple, and then just add it. So. I'll, uh, if you want to have a go at it, um, I'll go through the answer in about three seconds. So pause this if you want. So three, two, one. All right, convert this into your improper fraction. So remember, ask your ma for help. So multiply, add. Two times four gives me eight, and then add the one is a nine. So it's nine over four. Add one fifth. So we've got are two fractions that we can now look at the, de the denominators, the bottom numbers, to find the common multiple. 
So if we look at these, 4 doesn't fit in the 5, so these two don't work. So think about 10 doesn't work because 4 doesn't fit in. Uh, 15 doesn't work either. 20. 20 works for both. And what you find is 5 times 4 gives you 20. So if you're struggling to find a common multiple, sometimes it's best just to multiply the two numbers together. So I'm going to put my 20 down here. 20 down here. Now, what have I done to get from 4 to 20? Of obviously times by 5. So times the top by 5. 9 times 5 is 45. What have I done to get from 5 to 20? Of times by 4. So that means I times the top by 4. Which gives me 4. And then finally, we just, we've just we got the same denominator, so addition is very simple. It's 45 plus 4 gives me 49, and the bottom number obviously stays the same. And that's it.